everyone, this is Nika and today we are going to help you mix your favorite cocktails one episode at a time with Lotus Gin Room. Because what is more exciting than making your own cocktails at home? Let me introduce you to the Lotus Gin Room Cocktail Project. Mixing cocktails will always start with the right and perfect equipment. That's why for this episode with Lotus Gin Room, we are going to talk about the basic equipment and tools you need to make your own cocktails. With that, let me introduce to you our resident bartender, Mr. MK Ramores. Hi, I'm Mark Kevin Ramores. You can call me MK. And I am the head bartender of Lotus Gin Room. I studied a Bachelor of Science major in Food Technology. I started bartending way back 2017 and the influence is my colleague and mentor Mark Villaria. Bartending gives me more confidence because I'm generally shy. It helps me to express myself and it makes me more comfortable. So I'm going to do my best so that I can teach you how to make your own DIY cocktails and I'll teach you the bartending techniques. First is the bar spoon. So for the bar spoon, we have a different style. First is yung American style. The American bar spoon has a twisted handle and usually a plastic cup on the end. Next is the European style. European bar spoon has a flat muddler or crusher. Japanese style. Japanese bar spoon is heavier with weighted teardrop shape opposite the bowl. For the jigger, we have a different sizes then. So that one is more on a 50 by 30. And this one is on uh, 60 by 90. So, depende sa tools or depende sa yung anong classing tools yung gusto mong kunin. Then, every tools, different sizes, different color din naman. Next is yung strainer natin. So, pattern strainer and this one is the julep strainer. So, you have different colors also. So, you have gunmetal, you have the gold, this one is the copper. Next is the mixing glass. So if you don't need to shake the drinks, you can just use the that to yes. mix it. So for the shakers, we have different style. So this one, this one is a Boston shaker. Next one, that one is a Japanese style. Ooh, so fancy. it's a three-in-one. Then I can a three-in-one. Meron ka ng shaker, meron kang strainer, at the same time meron kang jigger. So all in one na siya. And the other one is the French one. This one. The, so it's almost like a Boston shaker lang. So this one, if you have this one, you don't need to yes. buy the other tools. You don't have to buy the strainer, the jigger. Alright. So if you guys are interested in buying any of these products, I do recommend you dropping by Philippine Bar Pro, which they're having a promo right now until May 2021. If you do purchase any of these products worth 5,000 pesos, you do get a 500 peso voucher. Now let's make use of these bar tools and let's make a gin and tonic. I do want something in the sweet side. Okay, for the sweet side, you can go with the Tanqueray Sibila. So it's oh. more on a orangey flavor, balance of sweetness. But if you want something with the spices, you can go with the Malaka. Mm -hmm. If you want something dry, you can go with the Tanqueray. London Dry, and if you want something a balance of citrus and juniper berries, you can try the Tanqueray number 10. Alright. Okay. Let's start first with chilling with the glass. Right. So just stir it. Just stir the glass. Yes. So it, has, it enhances the flavor. Yes. Okay. Using the jigger, um, you can go with the 45 ml. 45 ml. Yes. So slowly pour. 1 is to 3. One part of gin and three parts of tonic water. So for ice, go ahead and put uh, before the half of the glass. Or if you have a better ice, you can go with two to three cubes. Three ice cubes. Yes. Mm. All right. So just a lip up. So you just lift it up like uh, this. Yes. And then back. Oh. And there you go. All right. So for your garnish, I. You can prepare a slice of orange. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, so for me, naman, I'll use fresh lemon peel. Mm -hmm. 
to get its nice aroma. Okay, so just, just put it inside. Little. Then, if you are using pala up peel or yeah. orange peel, lemon peel, squeeze, then rub it on the, the on the rim, then drop. That's all. Fancy. Then you can put your pink pepper card. And for me, naman. On top? Yes. Wow. That's it. And there you go. This is your gin and tonic. Knowing the basic tools and equipment you need to set up your own cocktail bar is not as hard as you think. It is satisfying need to know that you can make cocktails in an instant. You can always use of whatever tools you have at home to make your own perfect cocktail. And with the cocktail project guiding you about it, we ensure you that making drinks will be fun and easy to learn. Again, this is Nika, your host. And this is MK, your man behind the bar. To follow us in our cocktail mixing journey, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment on our YouTube and social media accounts. Click the bell button to be notified on our next episode. If you're in the metro, I do recommend you dropping by Lotus Gin Rooms Bar here in Capitolia, Pasig. See you guys in the next episode and this is The Cocktail Project.